It's crucial to be efficient as possible when using third-party tools to run your business. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you three simple tips on how to become a power user with the NinjaTrader platform. I use NinjaTrader to run, build, and test my own trading systems on the futures market. Back testing, strategy generation, running them live, putting them into charts are some of the basic tools that I use on a daily day basis to run my NinjaTrader systems. Now, if you're using NinjaTrader or even other platforms like TradeStation or MetaTrader, it's really important to become a power user on that platform. Becoming a power user is gonna allow you to save time and actually save money over the years because you're gonna be able to do tasks a lot faster. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you three simple tips on how to speed up some of the daily tasks with NinjaTrader and also a bonus tip on a feature that NinjaTrader that not a lot of people know how to use. Before we get started, hello, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build and code automated trading systems on the futures market. If you wanna learn more about automated trading, trading bots, or how to run trading systems, see the links in the description below. Let's get started. All right, so let's talk about the first tip to becoming a NinjaTrader power user, and that's clearing your strategy analyzer log. When you run back tests in NinjaTrader, you use what's called the strategy analyzer. That's their back testing interface and engine. And every time you run a back test, it actually saves that back test in a log file. That way you can access that back test at a future date. So it's super useful, right? If it saves all the back tests and maybe you want to go, um, maybe it's been a couple months and you want to go back to that back test you ran for a specific strategy, you can easy, easily locate it with that log. But with that being said, over time, as you run more and more back tests, that log gets bigger and bigger and it slows down your strategy analyzer. So uh, over time, every time you open up strategy analyzer in NinjaTrader, it'll take a long time to run. So for example, I'm gonna open up mine. Uh, so you go to new at the top left and then click strategy analyzer. You're gonna see that it's taking a while to load up, right? It took a couple seconds, it wasn't too bad, but over time it does get longer and longer. And at some point you do wanna clear it. So to delete the strategy analyzer log, uh, at the bottom of the strategy analyzer, click anywhere on the gray toolbar and click show log. And that'll show all your back tests that uh, you ran. So you can see I've, I've run quite a bit. And every time you open strategy analyzer, it loads all these. So clearing this will make your strategy analyzer load a lot faster. So to clear it, you just right click and select remove all non pint. Now, of course, if you want to keep your back tests or you want to keep a couple, what you can do is pin them. So there's a pin check box. So say I want to keep, um, there's a couple I want to keep here. So I want to keep that. Yep. All right, so I've pinned all the ones I wanna keep. And then I'm gonna right click and remove all non-pinned. And that will delete all the back tests that I didn't pin. And now when I open up strategy analyzer, it should be a lot faster. So new strategy analyzer, eh, it was, a, it was a tad faster. I didn't have that many back tests, but over time that log does load up and you'll notice your strategy analyzer getting a lot, lot slower when actually opening. So that is one tip to speed up that process. Tip number two to becoming a NinjaTrader power user is removing your cached historical data. So what I do every Sunday, I actually delete all my saved historical data and force NinjaTrader to re-download new data. So every time you run a back test or even when you run a strategy live, uh, your data feed will actually download the data and then save it locally within NinjaTrader. And that way, anytime you do a back test or run it in the future, you have that saved historical data locally, so it's a bit faster to access instead of uh, telling the debt uh, the instead of telling the data provider to uh, download the data uh, from its feed. So the problem with that is that over time, sometimes there is dead data corruptions, right? Sometimes data providers like Kinetic or CQG or even Interactive Brokers. In real time, the data may be reported differently than the back test, right? Now, don't worry too much. It's it's usually spot on, but once in a while, especially during volatile events, uh, there is data errors. And what I recommend is actually clearing that local historical data so that when you redo the back test, 
or get future data for the future, uh, it has a higher chance of being clean data. So to do that, what I do is go to tools and then historical data. And it's very simple. You just right click the historical data tab and just hit remove. And it says, are you sure you want to remove this data? And I hit yes. And it will go blank. Sometimes the plus button stays there and you have to click it like two or three times. But now all my historical data is deleted. And that way, when I restart my NinjaTrader Live systems on Sunday, it will re-download all that data cleanly uh, and, and fresh new data that's been, um, you know, kind of fixed by the, the data provider. So I've had problems where um, over time, some like over time data can get corrupt, if, especially if you store it locally. And the local version of the data may be different from the uh, data provider's version. And that can happen just due to formalities, technical errors. I'm not really sure why. Obviously, the data provider is filtering the data and, and sending it your way. So they can have errors on their end. And it's just safer to clear that data. I usually do it every Sunday uh, and then force it to re-download on Monday. So now it's deleted. I can go back to my uh, connections. And if I want to re-download the data, either I could start a strategy or um, you can also download data by going to tools, uh, historical data, and then going to download. And this will download all new fresh data. So I'll just put in ES futures here and we'll download one minute data from uh, 2008 until today. I'll hit download and I'll force redownload all the new data. And that way when I run a back test, it will be um, this fixed data. So just, you know, a tip, uh, obviously it doesn't make your ninja trader run faster, but it ensures that when you're running strategies live, you're getting fresh, new, clean data. That's sort of the main goal with this. The third tip to becoming a ninja trader power user is using templates. Templates allow you to save your strategy settings and easily load them in the future. How many times have you, you know, back tested the strategy? it looks good and then you go to run it live and you forget some of the settings or you make a mistake and now the strategy is trading what you don't want it to. That's happened to me, so I'm sure it's happened to you. So templates are super easy to use and set up. I'm gonna pull up the strategy analyzer and just select a random strategy that I have. I'll, I'll do the sample, uh, there's a sample strategy in here. Yeah, sample MA crossover, which is um, a strategy by default included in IndiaTrader. So maybe you're back testing, you know, let's say, just do ES day. I'll just set up some parameters here. All right, so I've just run a simple back test, right? And now you wanna go run the strategy live. Well, instead of remembering what the fast, the slow, what instrument and day value it was, you can save this as a template and easily load it when you run the strategy live. So I'm gonna hit template at the bottom right here and hit save. And what you can do, if you only have one template, you can save it as default. And what that'll do is that'll set the default settings so you actually never need to load it. So now that I've saved it, if I go to load, you can see now we have the default template here in the little icon. So now when I want when I want to go to run the strategy live, I'm going to go to the strategies tab in the main Ninja Trader control center, right click new strategy. And then I'm going to scroll down to the strategy that I was editing, which was the sample MA crossover. And you can see it's already loaded the default settings, but you load default, same thing. So it loaded the default instrument, the day 10 and 25. And I didn't have to remember all that. However, there's a couple more tips here. So this days to load parameter can be causing a lot of issues. By default, it loads five days worth of data before your strategy turns live. So it'll load five, uh, five bar or five days. Yeah, five days previous of bars. So in this case, we're trading daily bars. So it's gonna load five days. But if you're trading minute bars, it would still load five days worth of data just in minute increments. However, a lot of strategies need a lot more data to actually pre-fill the indicators, 
right? So for example, this is a daily SMA strategy. And I know that because I've been using NinjaTrader so long, I know the sample MA crossover, which stands for moving average, uh, uses a simple moving average indicator SMA. If it's only loading five days, but it has a slow period of 25 and a fast of 10, it does not have enough data to start trading. So for me, I always just set it to 200 days just so I have plenty of data to load and there's no issues with indicators missing values. Leaving this at five days to load, your strategy may not trade uh, for a very long time. So I'm gonna tell it to load 200 days and that's gonna allow me to have enough data to pre-fill those indicators. And that way I can hit okay. And then we have our strategy here. We know it's the correct settings because we set the template and we are good to go. Now, if you wanna run your strategy in a chart, right? So this method that you're seeing on the screen right now is running a strategy without a chart, but you can run strategies without a chart. The problem is that you can't load your strategy templates um, to this, to the chart. So, you know, I know when we ran this back test, it was on day bars. That's unfortunately the template will not pass that over to a chart. So you do have to know what time series your strategy was at. So I know we traded days. So I'm going to select days and I'm going to select uh, to load 200 days prior. So unfortunately, templates don't pass the time frame. Yeah, the time frame to the chart. But now from the chart, I can go to the strategies icon, which is here. It looks like a little clipboard. Click that. And now I can go to my sample MA crossover strategy. Load my template. And you'll notice it's running in a chart because it'll say input series here. And then I can apply an okay. And now I know the strategy is on it. One way you can know a strategy is attached to a chart is at the top left, you'll see in white sample MA crossover. The D means disabled, so the strategy isn't enabled yet. Um, and then the parameters as well. So that's how you would do it. All right, now the last bonus tip to becoming a Ninja Trader power user uh, and, and execute things faster. This is a very simple tip, but over time, as you get more and more strategies, you can see I have quite a bit of strategies here. It can take a while to find them, like scrolling up and down. So here's a tip when you're in the strategies menu, if you just left click anywhere, so I could left click anywhere and say, I want a strategy that starts with, I don't know, T. If I type T on my keyboard, it'll go to the next strategy that starts with T, right? So now I, have, I of course I have a lot of strategies that start with T, but it did save me a little bit of scrolling on where the next strategy is. So once again, all you do is left click and then you type the first letter of what your strategy starts with. So once again, if it starts with uh, S, I'll click S and we'll go to the next strategy with S and it'll go through folders as well. Okay. And it can save you a little bit of time scrolling uh, for the strategy. Of course, if you don't have many strategies, then scrolling is probably faster, but that is a small tip to kind of, you know, run NinjaTrader faster. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tips on how to become a NinjaTrader power user. Let me know in the comments below uh, if this helped you. And if it did, please hit the like button. It would help me a lot and help uh, you help you to pick up a lot more of my videos in their algorithm. So without further ado, have a good week guys, and we'll see you next week. Peace.